Hello everyone and welcome back to the series of Digital Logic Design and today we will study canonical form of sum of mentons. A boolean function expressed in the form of sum of min terms or product of max term are said to be in canonical form. So far we have studied that for n binary variable one can have 2 power n distinct combinations of min terms and we can express any boolean function as a sum of min terms. The min terms whose sum defines the boolean function are those which give ones of the function in a truth table. Or we can say that min terms are those terms for which the binary combination gives output of one in the function or output table. And adding all these twin terms gives a boolean function which is known as sum of min terms. Now expressing a boolean function in the form of sum of min terms is more convenient. Now if the given function is not in the sum of min terms form, then it can be transformed by first expanding the expression into sum of n terms. And then each of the n term is inspected that whether it contain all the function variables or not. If any of the variable is missing, then using boolean rules, the missing variable is introduced. Like if a function consists of three variables x, y and z and in a given boolean function, a term consists of only two variables y and z and the third variable is missing. So the missing term will be introduced using the boolean postulate which says that y dot 1 gives y and this one can be replaced with x plus x prime. So the missing variable x will be introduced. Now for the given example function f is equal to a plus b prime z you have to express the function as a sum of min terms. If you look at the function the function overall consists of three variables a, b and c where the function consists of two terms in the first term two variables are missing where in the second term one variable is missing. So we will introduce the missing variables in each term like starting with first term in this two variables are missing. So we will first multiply this variable a by b plus b prime and then we will get a dot b plus a dot b prime. Now the first term is expanded into sum of two terms but in both terms one variable is missing. Now again the missing variable will be introduced by multiplying both terms with c plus c prime and then the first term is expanded into four terms where in all the four terms all the variable are present. Now for the second term which is b prime c only one variable is missing. So this term will be multiplied by a plus a prime. So the original term will be expanded into sum of two terms. Now we will combine all the terms and will place in the function f. Now we will look for any repeated term. If any term is repeated that will be reduced to a single term using the boolean law which says that x plus a equals x. Now if you search for repeated term, the term a dot b prime dot c appear twice and this will be reduced to 1. Now rearranging the min terms in the ascending order, we get the final form of function f as sum of min terms or this can be replaced with sum of designation of the corresponding min terms which will be equal to sum of m1, m4, m5, m6 and m7. Now if the given boolean function is in the form of sum of min terms, it is sometimes convenient to express the function in the following brief notation like the function f of a, b, c will be equal to summation of 1, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Now here the summation symbol is used for oring or adding of the terms and the numbers following the summation sign are the indices of the min terms of the function. 
and the letters in the parenthesis following by the function variable f represent list of variables used in the function as an input. An alternative method for deriving min terms of a Boolean function is to obtain the truth table of the function directly from the algebraic expression and then read the min terms from the table. Like if you have a function which is not in the sum of min terms form, you can construct a truth table from the given expression and then like previous, you have to identify all those binary combinations for which the function have a value of 1. And for all these combination whose output is equal to 1, make min terms and add them, you will get an expression which will be in the form of sum of min terms. Now again consider the same example. In this, the output function f is equal to a plus b prime c. Now, as a second method, instead of solving using Boolean rules, we will construct a truth table for the function f and will identify all those variables for which the output of the function is equal to 1. If you look at the function, this is sum of two terms. So either the term a have a value of 1, the function will have an output of 1 or the second term b prime c have a value of 0 1 then the function have a output value of 1. Now after completing the truth table you have to identify all these terms and you will come to know that the function have a output of 1 for terms 1, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Now for all these combinations make min terms and add them you will get a function f which will be in the form of sum of min terms and within every term all the variable will be present. Thanks for watching the video and stay connected for more interesting videos.